the more villains there are, the worse the movie. It was dumb. Nobody want to see all that. What's poppin' y'all? Welcome to another episode of Rock Pop Superheroes. I'm your ringmaster and host, Rock Blackwell. And today, we're gonna be popping on that new Spider-Man Homecoming news. Shocker in Spider-Man Homecoming. Came up today on multiple Twitter sites with this picture of an actor, heavily rumored to be Bokeem Woodbine, dressed in like a body stocking, this kind of orangish brown with little red tints to it, with these like fists, glove type things. Hasn't been confirmed by any official source, neither Sony nor Marvel, but it definitely does look like Shocker. One of the interesting things about Shocker is that he's not like this world takeover villain, but he's not a street level villain either. His real name is Herman Schultz, and he happens to be just a comic crook who's a little bit more intelligent. You know, if Spider-Man were a bad guy, he has more than common intelligence, and he creates his own web shooters, so also Shocker, Herman Schultz, has created his own shocking fists. And what these shocking fists do, even though the name is Shocker, it's not electrical shocks. It's more of vibrations, sound waves. And what he can do is shock the ground and create like little earthquakes, which his suit protects him from, but affects everything else around him. So it goes out as sound waves rather than electrical shocks, like say Electro. Now there's no confirmation from Sony or Marvel that Shocker is actually going to be in this movie. Michael Keaton has been cast, presumably as the villain. Mostly we're hearing that he's going to be the Vulture. We also are hearing rumors that there's going to be the Tinkerer. That means we're looking at possibly three villains in this movie. My question is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Previously in the Spider-Man Sony movies, we've seen multiple villains of Spider-Man going up against. And in each movie, the more villains there are, the worse the movie. Take Spider-Man 3, for example. You had the Hobgoblin, Sandman, and Venom. Venom was terrible. Matter of fact, that whole movie was terrible. What was with emo Spider-Man? or The Amazing Spider-Man 2. That movie also had multiple villains, and it was multiple suckage. The Rhino garbage. Electro went from like doofus to supervillain like that. It was dumb. Don't nobody want to see all that? Here's the us hoping that because Marvel has it, they know exactly what they're doing. And what I think they're going to do with the Tinkerer and the Shocker is that the Tinkerer is probably going to run through the entire movie helping different people with their tech. Whereas the Vulture, the Michael Keaton character, will probably be the big bad, the main villain throughout the movie. And I'm thinking Shocker will just have a small role right in the beginning. Someone who's more than street level, that they can show some powers and show what Spider-Man can do against someone like that. So that's what I got for you guys. Tell me, what do you think? Do you think the shocker in this movie is going to be a good thing? You think that we might have too many villains? How long before Sony or Marvel will confirm any of this news? Whatever you think, holla at your boy in the comments. As always, thank you for watching this episode of Rock Pops. Be sure to click like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, keep it poppin'. Peace.